If there is going to be a life-changing airdrop this year, then it's probably going to come out of Satoshi VM, satoshivm.io. This is a decentralized Bitcoin ZK rollup layer two that is compatible with the EVM ecosystem and uses native BTC as gas. Satoshi VM introduces the EVM ecosystem to BTC, granting Bitcoin the Bitcoin ecosystem the capability to issue assets and build applications. I mean, do you know how insane that is? This is combining the EVM, basically the Ethereum virtual machine system with Bitcoin, bringing them together so that you can be able to interact with Bitcoin in the same way that we are interact with Ethereum in our MetaMask account. And that will bring a lot of activity to the Bitcoin blockchain. So you might already know that I have been telling you, that's why I'm making a lot of videos on since last year on BRC20 and Ordinals because Bitcoin ecosystem is the meta of this bull run. So in this video, I will show you how to maximize your chances of getting airdrops from this ecosystem because it's not one airdrop. This is a blockchain as a whole. So I believe they will do their own, um, they will drop their own token, obviously. And there will also be other projects that will be launching on top of Satoshi VM. It's similar to uh, what is Arbitrum or, or Polygon on Ethereum. But this one is basically much more saucy than that. So let's move on and I will show you guys how to maximize the chances of getting your airdrop to get more tokens because, you know, Let's say you get 1,000 tokens and the, the coin goes to a dollar max. Well, then you only have $1,000. We want to make hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions from these airdrops. So you need to do certain things to make sure that you get a lot of tokens. So you can see here that the testnet is actually live. So the blockchain is active on testnet, meaning that developers are able to test things. Daily transactions in, right now at $120,000 and things are happening so fast. So the way you maximize, one of the ways you maximize how many tokens you're going to get is also maximizing your activity. You have to be doing more on that specific blockchain. And two, you want to have multiple wallets. All right. So first, let's look at how can you be active on the Satoshi VM to maximize your chances of the airdrop. All right, so first, if you go to um, Satoshi VM itself on the website and you go to Bridge right here, it will take you to this page. This page allows you to connect your wallets. So you got the BTC Bridge, which allows you to connect the Satoshi virtual machine with your Bitcoin wallet. However, this is currently in, on the testnet version. So you need testnet versions of Bitcoin, which you can get from a Bitcoin faucet. They're free. I have already shown you guys how to um, how to turn on your testnet tokens inside your Unisat wallet. The links to that to, the link to that video will be in the description below. And I've also shown you how to claim free faucet tokens or testnet tokens on Bitcoin. So now I have already have my wallet. It's ready this one here with some testnet tokens, I can simply just click on connect and I'll click on Unisat. That means my Bitcoin testnet account has been created, has been connected. And if you see here, it's saying Satoshi AVM. This means the Satoshi VM, but with the Ethereum um, EVM basically. This is the SA virtual machine. So what you want to do is to connect your MetaMask account with that one. So you're now on two different networks, which means when it when the airdrop actually takes place, you could receive two different two tokens in two different uh, wallets or different networks. So you could your Ethereum wallet will get an airdrop and your BTC wallet also will get an airdrop. And then you have to start the activity now. Let's go with the activity. How does that work? First, I want to deposit some tokens from my Bitcoin testnet wallet and convert them, bridge them over to the Satoshi VM testnet. The way I'll do that, since I have a balance of 0 0.00021, 
sorry, 002, what I will do, I will just want to deposit 0 0.001. Okay, that's the minimum I can do. And then I will deposit it over. Okay, so it says balance not enough to pay fee. So um, let's say, okay, so the minimum here, can this work? Balance not enough again. So what we need to do is to basically just claim um, claim more tokens from the faucet. So if you don't have enough Bitcoin uh, from the faucet, below here they already have links to take you to the Bitcoin faucet. So here I want to claim from a Bitcoin faucet. It will take me to this page. And I can simply claim some tokens here, right? Which I had already done before. And then after you have done that, you can simply go back and just withdraw back from. So here you can see we're moving from Bitcoin to Satoshi VM. After your deposit was successful, you can go back here and just withdraw from Satoshi VM back to Bitcoin Test. And that will register as an activity. You transferred some tokens, you made some moves. The same if you go to the SAVM, all right? Currently, the chain is faulty, so the Ethereum balance is not showing as much. All right. So what I like to do right now is to just go directly to the T. They have another faucet here for the TSVM. So when you click that, it's automatically giving you some Satoshi VM testnet tokens immediately. They give you 0 0.21. Okay, so very soon that should be able to show up in your wallet. And when that happens, let's see if it shows up just yet, not yet. It takes a little bit of time. When that happens, you can now bridge those tokens over from, okay, so here we go. We already received them. This is uh, from our Ethereum Sepolia wallet. We can now say transfer 0 0.1, deposit it over into the Satoshi VM. Approve, and that has now happened. So imagine if I'm waking up every morning, I have a bunch of wallets and I have all the time in the world and just doing this, I put my little brother on, my sister, everybody. I mean, we can maximize this. So if you, especially if you have multiple devices, you just keep on doing things like this, experimenting, you would end up with a big bag when the airdrop actually finally takes place. So I recommend you guys do a lot of this stuff. And then I can go back to the BTC bridge here, all right, and try to withdraw if I have any tokens um, it, from the Satoshi VM on the Bitcoin side, right? So just remember, you want to get some tokens from the faucets, deposit them into your wallet, and then you want to be just making transaction deposit it from here to here and then go back withdraw from this side to the other side and then you switch over to the bit to the ethereum one you also do the same all right we're still waiting for this one to show up here because we uh converted if we bridged 0 0.1 from here to Sephora. so we just have to wait a little bit so that's all you do until application starts showing up and you can now start using uh, real platforms to allow you to do active real trading with many tokens on Satoshi VM. When that happens, you will know, right? If you're following this channel and you follow me on Twitter or you're part of our newsletter, you receive all the emails, then you'll be one of the first people to actually get involved with that. And then the chances of your airdrops just keeps on increasing. So this is something that nobody is talking about. You know, I don't understand why, but I think a lot of people deserve to know this to take advantage of it. If you want to get some more faucet tokens, like I said, use these links below here to claim a bunch of tokens. All right, so we received our 0 0.1 here. So what I'll do, I'll just withdraw, let's say 0 0.05 instead. I'll withdraw it and it will move back to Okay, so here, 
um, it's asking me to actually switch my network from Sepolia to Satoshi VM testnet because currently I am on Sepolia, but I'm trying to move or sign a transaction that is moving from Satoshi VM testnet to Sepolia testnet. So here we go. And the reason why Satoshi VM is using Sepolia is because it's on Bitcoin, which is proof of work. So it's approving the transaction. And then after that, it's so it says a sufficient balance. You probably just have to try it again and things like that. But yeah, keep active. Eventually, you can go to your history and see all the transactions that you've been conducting. Like right now, there's a transaction. It's depositing. It's not completed. That's why it didn't work for us. And the same on the Bitcoin side. You can always play around, deposit and withdraw, deposit and withdraw until you have maximum activity. All right. Lastly, I just want to thank our sponsors, CoinW. These guys are doing incredible work supporting education in crypto, but also having an incredible trading platform for you as traders. You can copy trade on there. You can trade crypto, ETFs. And if you create an account using our link in the description below, there is bonus up to $3,000. If you create an account, deposit and start trading. And you don't even need to do KYC to start like many platforms will ask you KYC. these guys don't do that so make sure you take advantage of that and um you know use our links because we do get some referral commissions it's part of supporting the channel thank you guys for watching if you have any questions please leave in the comments because we leave we read each and every comment and we want to support you stay awesome guys happy farming of airdrops